So we're now going to take you through the motor and arm assembly with the speed controller. Uh, end product will be something like this. So we'll have the motor fixed to the arm, running with the wires at the correct length to the speed controller, which has been sealed again, and the two power wires coming out um, at about that length. So we're going to take it from there. We're going to go our motor here and these nice long wires coming out which we need to shorten to the correct length um, so we've normally measured this I take the motor I've got a nice measuring over here so and I need to go to 11 centimeters so I just mark with my thumb my finger I take the wire cutters and cut and there we go and you can take the spare wire and throw it away. Cool, so I've taken out everything from the motor bag. You've got these bullet connectors and heat shrink. You're not gonna need that, to throw that away. Um, you've got some uh, two mil uh, nuts and adapter, nuts for the adapters, uh, which are the short ones. And the long ones are what you're gonna need to bolt the motor onto the arm. These two again, you're not gonna need them, throw them away. Here is the adapter, which basically your prop's gonna fit to. It's gonna fit on the top here and you use those short screws for that. And we're not gonna do that now, we'll do that a bit later when we actually have it all assembled and we've got our motor direction set up. Next, we've got our speed controller and some heat shrink to go off over and I'll show you why we need that. So we're just gonna start out um, cutting and just spread that out. We're gonna cut just across there, just be careful of those those fets that are down there. And we just want to clear off the covering just on the side there so that we can actually see the solder itself. We need to get to the, that, the solder joints right there. Um, we're going to have our soldering iron ready, which is hot, and we're just going to slowly take off each of these wires. You can get someone to, to hold the speed controller for you or just use helping hands. I only just hold it down with my finger and pull with the other two fingers here and just rest soldering iron down and pull the wire off. So I'm going to do one at a time. Just apply a little bit of heat, not too much, and you should be pulling at the same time while you're applying that heat so that it just pops off. I'm going to do the same thing again off. So that now leaves your three pads all ready to take the wires from your motor. Now again the motor wires need to be pre-tinned so you're gonna need your wire cutters again and you're just gonna strip off the ends like that. Strip off the ends. Just make sure you neaten them up just to give them a little twist. Neaten them up again, give them a little twist. Twist. Okay. I'm going to use some helping hands just to keep the wires together nice and still for when you want to tin them. So just give them a bit of solder. Again, these are thinner wires than we did for our, um, for our pigtails, so they don't need as much heat as much time on the heat, just clean off the tip of your soldering iron, apply a bit of solder, it sucks right in, and we're done. So now we've pre-tinned all our wires, ready to be put onto the AC. So what I like to do is keep them in line, so keeping your middle wire as your middle wire, and your end wires like that, so you're gonna line them up like that. Um, I think we start with our, our middle wire just to get that out the way. Now that's pre-tinned, there is solder on there. You're not going to want to put the solder on here for too long. You're literally going to have to just dot it down so that it actually actually takes. Go again. 
bagian done so you got it all nice and length next you're gonna to want to take some heat shrink you're gonna thread it on just pop it open and get rid of this little tag and the heat shrinks just to cover up those exposed ends over there so you're gonna pop that on the end there and again you can take a lighter blowtorch and you're just gonna apply some even heat around to then seal it up and so it sort of closes in around there and that's it okay next we're gonna mount our motor so the motor is gonna mount on like that what I like to do as well so you're going to use your 1.5 hex driver and I also like to use a bit of Loctite so it's blue Loctite which means it won't it can still come loose afterwards it's not going to be permanent and you don't need a lot you literally need to just dip it oops um, literally just dip it so that the The Loctite's actually just touched the, the thread. So now you're going to try and line it up. Pop one in just to get it like in place. And we we'll just make sure we line up our holes. You can see. And we'll go from there. So next we're going to put another three in. Going to tighten it up completely just yet. I'll do that at the end once I've done all of them. But that's in, and, and in. So now we're going to just tighten it all up, give it a nice strong tight just so it's tension tight and then that'll set and that's not gonna come loose with any vibration as you can see we're now matched up about the same length so they are the same length and we've already pre-done another two of these so you can carry on with those um, and then when you're done we'll carry on